Welcome to the Verification Academy course on formal coverage. This session will give an overview of the topics which will be covered in this course. My name is Mark Esslinger. I'm a verification technologist supporting formal-based products at Mentor, a Siemens business. Formal coverage is a hot topic these days. There are various metrics which are used to determine when verification work is done. Like simulation, formal has metrics which can be used to help determine when verification on a design is complete. Some of the topics we'll be covering in this course include formal coverage. We'll take a look at some of the metrics used in simulation as a baseline. Then we'll look at some of those same metrics from a formal perspective and how to generate and use those metrics. Next, we'll look at how formal coverage information can help you debug vacuous and uncoverable properties. These buggy properties are technically proofs and typically have little in the way of debug information that can be provided. With formal coverage, there is more information available to you in helping debug the more complex cases. Formal coverage can also be used in helping to resolve inconclusives. We'll review some of the easier methods which involve tool functions as well as simple abstractions. We'll then look at how information provided by the tool can help in determining where you focus your efforts on resolving inconclusive properties. Over constraint and reachability analysis are also important components in your formal verification tasks. Determining if your constraints and assumptions cause an over constrained condition has a big impact on if your proofs are valid or not. Reachability can be used not only for finding bugs in the design but also in helping determine if a block is good for formal as well as helping with bounded proof coverage. It is the technology behind your overconstraint analysis as well. There is no required order in viewing these sessions. View what works best for your needs at this time. If you are unfamiliar with formal techniques, there are other courses which cover these topics you may want to review before beginning this course. The getting started with formal-based technology is a good place to start. Enjoy your upcoming sessions.